Sudden deaths across the country are leaving people shocked and confused. These surprising cases of cardiac arrest are affecting a wide range of ages, like 55-year-old Tim Goff and 17-year-old Daniel Moshi, and many more in between. The popular British radio host, Tim Goff, suddenly died in the middle of doing his morning show. He experienced a medical emergency while on air. Hello, I'm Tim Goff. He was doing the Gen X Radio Suffolk show when he sustained a suspected heart attack. Goff was pronounced dead at his home just before 8 a.m. on October 24th. The station released a statement in response, saying Tim was doing what he loved when he died. They said the entire Gen X radio family are shocked and devastated beyond words. Goff's death comes just weeks after 41-year-old recording artist Mika Ben suddenly died on stage during a performance in France on October 16th. He walked across the stage, suddenly collapsed, and died. His death was also suspected to be the result of sudden cardiac arrest. In a clip that surfaced on social media, the Haitian singer, also known as Michael Benjamin, finished his set and was walking off the stage when he suddenly dropped in front of thousands of fans and died. Several crew members can be seen rushing over to his aid. The music then stops, with fans wondering what had just occurred. The arena later confirmed that the singer had died despite efforts from emergency personnel. Sudden deaths are a tragedy, and that tragedy only becomes increasingly heavy as it affects the youth. On October 14th, 17-year-old Daniel Moshi died suddenly after collapsing on stage at an all-state choir event. He was performing at the All-State Honors Show Choir at Naperville North High School when he suddenly collapsed and was later pronounced dead. Daniel's mother, Carolyn Moshi, told a local NBC news station that she dropped Daniel off at school that day and nothing seemed off about him. He was singing, they had dinner, and he was just fine. And they told us that while he was doing his solo, he just passed out. Cool. Daniel's father, Loden Moshi, told the station that he was the one who got the call that Daniel had collapsed. He said he got the call from his musical teacher and that there had been an incident. Daniel was unconscious when the first responders arrived at the school, and when Daniel arrived at the hospital, he was pronounced dead. Daniel's mother explained to NBC, I received a call from the DuPage coroner's office, and she said, Miss Moshi, I'm reaching out to you to let you know that there was nothing wrong with your son. His organs were all healthy, his heart, absolutely absolutely nothing wrong with him. His organs were all healthy, his heart, absolutely nothing wrong with him. Daniel's father and mother have said that they've struggled emotionally since losing their son, but added that their faith has kept them going. Rising ice hockey star Eli Palferman suddenly collapsed after playing a game with his team in Ontario, and was later pronounced dead after being transported to the local hospital. He was only 20 years old. The second-year player with the Air Sentinels of the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League took to the ice August 30th with his team at a tournament game. During the tournament's first intermission, Palferman was in the locker room with his teammates and suddenly collapsed. Waterloo Regional Police officers responded to the scene after receiving a medical emergency call. Palferman was then transported to Cambridge Memorial Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Healthy young adults suddenly collapsing dead should concern everyone and should have us all asking, what is happening here?